Hi everyone, welcome to my live creative time today. My name's Mandy Witherby from Mandy's Papercraft Creations and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, whether or not you are joining live today or watching the replay, thank you so much for coming. Uh, now you might be watching here on Facebook where I'm filming this live or perhaps you're watching the replay over on YouTube. Um, thank you so much and feel free to like and share um, my videos if you enjoy them uh, and also to if you're watching over on YouTube remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and then that way you'll get notified whenever uh, I upload new videos. So uh, let's get all of my devices all set up and ready so that I can see everybody's comments and as you're jumping on <clears throat> Excuse me. As you're jumping on, uh, say hi and let me know that you are here. And if this is your first time watching with me, let me know where you're watching from. Okay, so let's... There we go. Bring that up over there. So I've got all the devices up and running, ready to go. And um, we're going to have some playtime today, which is going to be super fun. And I've got some show and tell. And we've got some exciting things coming up as well. So we will, um, before we jump in, uh, we'll just wait and see uh, if a few people jump on. But yeah, let me know how your weekend was. If you've been crafting, what have you been making? Um, hopefully you've had some time in the last week to be able to create. Well, actually, it's been two weeks since I've seen you because I wasn't able to go live last week because I wasn't feeling well. Um, but um, I'm glad to be back today. Hi, Rose. How are you? So it's two weeks, two weeks worth of news. I can't even remember like a couple of days ago. So <laughs> it might just be more current news than uh, two weeks ago. Um, but I hope that you have all been crafting while I've been um, away from videoing. I hope you've been continuing to craft and uh, let me know what you've been making. I would love to uh, share in that with you. So we love sharing our creativity. It's so great to see what everybody has been crafting and um, yeah, and feel free to have a chat with me. How was your weekend? What did you get up to? On uh, Saturday, we actually had, well, let me backtrack a little bit. So I wasn't feeling great last week um, on Monday. I had a bit of a tummy upset and then I got a migraine that night as well. Um, but by the next day, I was feeling a lot better. Then I went into hospital on Thursday. You probably saw my post about that um, on my Facebook page. I did go into hospital or perhaps on my Instagram too. I did go into hospital on Thursday for a procedure. Um, so still sort of getting over that at the moment. My tummy's still a little bit unsettled. Um, so, but that will ride itself in the next couple of days. So all good. But, uh, yes, I didn't go so well with the anesthetic this time, which I didn't remember from the last time. So yes, that kind of caught me off guard, but I came home and went to bed and all was good. Um, yeah. So just, just got to wait for the tummy to settle again now. <laughs> Um, but all good, all good. Um, and uh, I get the, all those test results in a few weeks' time. So I've got to just sit tight and wait. But that's okay. We've got some exciting things coming up in the meantime to look forward to. So all good. Um, okay, so then on Saturday, um, so Friday was a quiet day, just resting. And then Saturday, I had my monthly team gathering with my beautiful team. And uh, we had a really lovely time. And um, after we had our, our meeting portion of the, of the gathering, we then had one of our beautiful team members demonstrate an amazing card for us. And I've got that to share with you today. So she showed us how to make it. You may have heard of this fold. I had not actually heard of this, fold, this um, fun fold. Hey, Cheryl, how are you? Great to have you here. Um, it's called the, I've, I've made one similar, but this one's got an additional fold in it, but this one is called the 2468 fun fold card. Has anybody heard of that one? The 2468 fun fold card. Um, 
but our beautiful team member Deborah, she um she shared that with us. Now it's not the card we're going to be creating today, but it is so beautiful and I love it so much that we are going to be creating one of these fun fold cards in the next couple of weeks. Um, probably using slightly different products. It'll be a bit of a take on this one that I created because I don't have any more of this same DSP. But let me share this beautiful card with you. So here it is here. This is the front of it. And then it opens like this. But see how you've got that little, you've got that little flappy bit in that little, um, that little frame in the middle is sort of like half adhered, half on, half off. Or the first two actually are. So when you um, stand this up, it sort of will stand, I'm trying to get it straight, like that. So isn't that just so beautiful? So everybody was using um, different products when we were making this card, different DSP, different stamp sets, different dies to um, embellish, but that's, that's what I chose. Um, and Deborah just showed us how to create the actual the fold with the the layers and everything so so I look forward to showing you that one in the next couple of weeks that was a lot of fun to create and everybody did such a great job and they all looked so different because everybody was using different products um, different DSP and different stamps and things as I mentioned and they all turned out really beautiful so I'll share that one with you in um, in the coming weeks and I'll teach you how to make that so, hey, Dimity, how are you? Great to have you with us. Who else have we got? So we've got Rose, we've got Cheryl, we've got Dimity, we've got some others as well um, lurking in the background. That's okay. <laughs> we like our friendly stalkers. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that was really exciting. And then today um, I am actually part of a um, design team for a monthly blog hop. And today, we, um, our blog hop went live at 7 a.m. this morning. Um, so I do have a project on my blog already for you. If you would like to go there and have a look, you'll find it at mandyspapercraftcreations.blogspot.com. So you can go there as soon as I finish um, with my live today and you can see um, the project. But it's actually also not the project we are creating today. So we've got all these different projects on the go at the moment, but this is the one that I created. So in the design team, each month we take turns um, coming up with a challenge for the month. And then um, we all follow that theme and then we, we do a blog hop together and we share that on our socials. Now, I haven't shared it yet on my socials because I was going live today, so I was sharing that. So I'll be sharing that on my socials in the next few days, but I'll give you all a little sneak peek of the card that I created. So this month was a color challenge. Um, so we had a color palette of, now let's remember, there were five colors. So it was uh, crushed curry, pumpkin pie, um, granny apple green, pretty peacock, I'm looking at my card to remind myself, and black. And then I added in some white as well. And this is the card that I um, came up with. So isn't that just so beautiful? And those colors, like I don't often use crushed curry and pumpkin pie, especially together and especially for florals. But how awesome does that look? Turned out really well. And that's using the paper florist dies. So that one's on my blog right now. If you want to go and um, get the details of that, um, write down my blog, write down my blog, um, my blog spot. And um, as soon as I finish filming, you can go over there and um, check that one out. And then as well, you can hop along to all of the other um, blogs in the um, challenge and uh, get lots and lots of creative inspiration using those amazing colors. So I really had, uh, yeah, I really, really uh, enjoyed that color challenge. That was really cool. So I hope that you will enjoy that project, but I will put that up on my Facebook page and Instagram um, later in the week as well. So, so it's two other beautiful projects. Again, not what we're creating today, um, but we will get to what we're creating today in a moment. <laughs> I'll share that with you. Hey, Hayley, how are you? Lovely to have you with us. Oh, all the way from the Philippines. Oh, thank you so much for joining us. That's fantastic to have you all the way from over there. Lovely. 
Oh, yeah, you like that card? Oh, I'm glad. Yeah, it's on my blog right now, so you can um, you can check out all the details, get all of the measurements and the instructions um, over there on my blog. Um, and, uh, yeah, fantastic. Great. Oh, it's lovely to have new friends join us. We always, uh, I always love having new friends join us and uh, love to know where you're watching from. Okay, so let's talk about a few things that are coming up. And I just realized I started my, um, so over on my computer, I opened up Facebook on um, my Google Chrome and I forgot that it doesn't like it over there watching the replay, uh, watching the playback. So I'm just going to flick over to uh, Safari and I'll open that back up so that I can see your comments because otherwise I won't be able to see them. <laughs> I can see them on my um, on my iPad but sometimes they disappear so yeah so let me just pull that back up over here we'll just get that back up again there we go okay all good all good hi Fee how are you oh you just missed my beautiful projects I just shared I was doing a little bit of uh, uh, um, what do you call it? What did, what did I call it before? It's gone out of my head. Show and tell. That's it. Sorry. <laughs> my brain is already on the next thing. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so we had the, the card that I created in Team Gathering, the card that is on my blog this morning for um, the blog hop that I'm participating in as part of the um, design team. And now let's jump into a little bit of Stampin' Up! news before we jump into um, before we jump into our project for today. All right, so exciting news! Tomorrow, Tuesday, the fifth of March, we have got um, some brand new online exclusives coming up. Now I mentioned these a couple of weeks ago, and we did already play with the. Um, uh, flowering zinnias. Do you remember we played with the flowering zinnias suite two weeks ago? Um, that becomes available to all of our customers tomorrow. So if you're shopping in the online store, you'll find all of the products available tomorrow. Now it's not only these, but there's a whole stack of other products as well that are available. Not all of them are on this flyer, only a few are on the flyer. So we've got the zinnia suite. The flowering zinnia suite and there's this other one as well it's called the um encircled in nature which is another beautiful one there and then we've got the oh, i forget i forget the name of this one does anyone remember the name of this one the coffee is it uh something latte i can't remember but it's a coffee inspired um suite as well which has been very very popular with um all of the demonstrators they've been creating beautiful projects with that I don't have that one yet. Um, oh, you went and looked at my blog quickly, Fee. Oh, thank you. I'm glad that you like that uh, that card. Um, yeah, it was it was a fun one to do with all of those colours. Just uh, it's good to get to be stretched out of your comfort zone and use colours that you wouldn't or ordinarily um, use or different colour combinations that you wouldn't normally combine. Um, so yeah, so it was really fun. And here's another flyer as well, giving you a little bit more of a sneak peek of the um, the coffee suite, which I can't remember the name of, the zinnias. And then here's another one as well with this cute little wagon. You see that? That's adorable. So, and there's a whole stack of other products as well. There's sweets, there's stamp sets, there's dyes, there's... Um, um embellishments and ribbons and all sorts of things so you'll find them in the online exclusives from tomorrow the 5th of march so be sure to go over there and um, check those out there'll be lots and lots of new um exciting products now if you're unsure oh thank you fee it's called a little cafe latte a new latte was in there somewhere a little a little latte a little cafe latte or a little latte, something like that. Um, I knew latte was in there somewhere. I just couldn't think of the name of it. And because I don't have that sweet, I couldn't actually check it. Um, what was he saying? See, again, my brain is just already on to the next thing. I can't remember. <laughs> oh, there's been so much happening in the last few days. Um, 
yeah so anyway so definitely check oh i know if you are not sure where to find the online exclusives i've got a twitch in my i've got a twitch you know sometimes you get those little nerve twitches i get them i get them often <laughs> oh autocorrect it's a little latte sweet collection thank you fee a little latte sweet collection thank you um yeah so if you're not sure where to find online exclusives if you go to the online store and then you click on shop products you'll get the list of all the different categories that you can shop in so there'll be um stamp sets and um inks and coloring tools and you know all those different categories there's a category there called online exclusives and most likely tomorrow when because it's launching tomorrow um to on the on the customer facing website um there will be promos up about it as well as soon as you log into the online store you'll see a promo come up um, on the first screen so you can just click on that and it'll take you straight to all of the online exclusives um, but yeah, definitely check them out. Lots and lots of beautiful, beautiful products. Now, um, I have got a class coming up and this class is a little bit different. I've run one of these before, um, but this time you're going to have the option of either doing the class by mail where I send you all of the um, products that you need for the class as well as PDF tutorials for you to create the projects or you can come and create this class in person with me. Um, so there's the two options. Now for in person, I've got limited amount of seating. So you're going to have to RSVP very quickly if you want to grab a seat to come and do the class in person. But it's the Sweet Thoughts card class and we are going to be using the Sweet Thoughts um, memories and more cards and the memories and more cards and envelopes so there's the two prices for the two different classes of course the class to go includes um, postage um, so uh, if you want to check those out I'm going to pop the link up now the registration date um, is by the 9th of March but as I, as I said with the online oh, sorry the in-person class I've only got limited seats Okay, so 9th of March, so there's not long to register. I was planning to advertise it a little bit earlier, but because I had been in hospital and things, I, I just couldn't do it. Um, but let me pop the link up for you so you can go and check that out straight away. And the link will also be in the description of this video, both here on Facebook and on YouTube, once I upload the videos after I finish um, filming. So let me grab that link and I'll pop that in the comments right now for you. There you go. And that's got all the details about the class and what's included. Um, and I'm actually going to show you the products that are included. So we're going to use some of those products today to create um, some projects. We'll see how many we get done. Um, these will not be projects that are part of the class, but these are additional um, projects um, just to show you. Um, what the products look like. So we might um, turn the camera down onto the desktop so we can get started and um, and I can share this with you. All right, so let me just move my keyboard out of the way. We're going to be doing a little bit of chop, chop, chop today. Now, before we do, make sure you've got your cuppa and um, feel free to sit back and relax and watch what I what I'm sharing with you today or craft along with me on your projects at home. Um, now, if you are, if you already have these memories and more cards, that's the sweet thoughts, memories and more cards. You might like to pull them out and have a little play along with me, or you can do your, you can create your own project. Um, oh, thank you, Sue. Yes, I am feeling a lot better. Tummy still settling a little bit. Um, but it'll be okay in the next couple of days, I'm sure. Just takes a bit of time um, for everything to get back to normal. So, yeah, thank you so much. All right, so let's turn the camera down. I'm going to cover up the camera so I don't make you all dizzy while I do my transition. So here we go. Um, and we'll get this all set up for you. Oh, my cable is stuck. Hang on. There we go. All right. It's 
So everyone got their cuppers ready or your beverage of choice. What are we all drinking today? I have, oh, hang on a sec. Let me just get that camera lined up. I have got my yummy T2 French Earl Grey today with yellow box honey um, added and a little bit of, um, whoops, a little bit of um, lactose free milk. Skim milk, I might add. I've switched over to the to the skim milk of late. Now let's see. We've got that um, the lights down on the subject. One of my lights is about to break. I think it's um it's getting looser and looser in the stand, and it's getting lower and lower. And um, I'm sure it's going to fall down one of these days. So I've really I'm really going to have to do something about that very very soon. All right, so um, now any of the products that you see me um, creating with today, you can find in my online store. And to find my online store, there's two different ways you can do that. You can go to my blog where you will find um, my project um, for the blog hop today, which isn't what we're creating today. But you'll find this project on my blog today as part of a blog hop with a design team that I'm part of. Um, so this is my blog, mandyspapercraftcreations.blogspot.com, and this is my latest um, blog post, so you'll see that one up there today. And um, if you want to shop with me, you'll see the shop button at the top of my blog. You can click on that um, to go shopping with me. Now I have a host code. Let me just move that down a little bit so you can see that. This is my March 2024 host code. So when you're shopping with me, Use this host code in your shopping cart and you can add that at the top of your shopping cart. Okay, so just make sure that you add that and with orders over $75, you will receive a thank you gift from me um, to thank you for shopping with me. Oh, hey, Glenda, how are you? Yes, I am doing much better. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, okay, so we are going to be using the Sweet Thoughts um, memories and more cards that we are going to be using in the class as i said this is not a um these projects are not ones that are going to be part of the class we're doing additional projects today um but yeah now if you want more information about this class um you can go to my stampin up website which is mandywitherby.stampinup.net easy to remember it's just my name dot stampin up dot net okay and you can go there and get the information and you can register. Um, but as well, I've put the link in the comments. The link will be in the details, so you'll be able to find it um, in lots of different ways. All right, so let me show you the products that are going to be in the class. Oops, losing my, hang on a sec, I'm losing my flyer, it's running away from me. Okay, so in the class, this is what you are going to get. So you're going to get, um, let's go through them one at a time. You're going to get 10 cards and um, 10 card bases and envelopes, which is five of each color. Okay, so let me just take those out and show you. Let's take the tape off here so I don't, I'm bound to stick stick something where it shouldn't be so we'll take these out this is how they will come for you so these are the um the sweet thoughts memories and more cards uh card bases and envelopes and these are already scored in the middle it's hard to see because um of the pattern on them but they are scored already for you, so they're ready to go. They are card bases already prepped, cut, ready to go. So you're going to get five of each colour. So we've got five of the um, Calypso Coral, I think it is, and five of the Pretty Peacock. And then you get the matching envelopes as well, which are super, super pretty. Look at that. And look at the inside. Look at the inside of those envelopes. They are gorgeous as well. So you're going to get those. Okay, then you're going to get, I'll just pop those over to the side. Then you're going to get um, some vellum. 
So you're going to get five pieces of A6 vellum. So we've cut, we've cut this down already to A6 sizes. You're going to get five of those as part of the class. You're going to get um, 120 of the loose frosted dots. Now I've already taken some out of here, but we will count out 120 from the pack um, for you in different size. They're in different sizes and different colors. So you're going to get a little um, collection of those. So 120, that'll go a long way. Plus you're going to get um, half a pack of the memories and more cards, the memory and more card pack. So this is half of a pack and this is what we're going to be playing with today. We're not going to use all of them, of course, um, but just for me to show you how much you get in half a pack, um, I'm going to show you a little, a, a little quick flick through. So they're all double sided. So I'll show you as we go. Actually, let me do it this way. Hang on a sec. They're the sticker sheets. So if I do it this way, so they're, as you can see, they're double sided. They're absolutely gorgeous. Look at these butterflies and these colors are just beautiful. Look at these. Now these cards, of course, you can use these for um, pocket style memory keeping. You can use them for traditional scrapbooking. You can use them for card making. You can use them for 3D um, projects. You can use them for any paper crafting um, projects you choose. Okay, so they're the large cards. Then you get three sticker sheets look at these these are all these are very thick um, cardstock style stickers they're very very um, heavy duty and you've got all of these designs here which are just gorgeous then you've got this one which has got the copper foiling and you've got some border strips here you've got some um, frames which are really lovely some words some little um, tags little butterflies, flowers, and then you've got some more sentiments here, as well as some flowers, another border, and some little um, journaling pieces as well, or you can stamp on those um, if you choose to as well. Okay, and then there's the little um, three by four cards. So these ones are six by four cards. So they're like a standard photo size um, card. And then these ones are your little three by fours, and these are all double sided as well. So they're really pretty. Oops, that one's upside down. These are really beautiful. And so in the class, you're actually, we're actually going to be creating 10 projects. So 10 cards using these memories and more cards and then you have a few little um a few little scraps left over as well that you can use on other projects but there are 10 cards that we've designed for this class and as well as that you're going to get a full pdf um, instruction tutorial for each of those 10 cards i love this i love this little paintbrush how adorable is that so cute hello there this one's a great one to dream big. And I love this. You are nothing short of amazing. I love that sentiment. So aren't these just so beautiful? I really love these. this set. Okay, so that is all of the products that you're going to get in the class. And um, as I said, the in-person class is $40. The class to go or the class by mail is um, $45 so um, yeah so check that one out and if you would like to register um, for that then uh, be, so, be sure to register before the um, the 9th of March there's the promo again okay so be sure to register by the 9th of March okay all righty so did I forget anything no that's it Yep, that's good. Yep, so we're going to be creating 10 cards in the class. Now today, we'll see how many we get done because today we are going to be playing with these products and um, coming up with some different designs to what we had in the class. Now I may add in a couple of extra things today that are not included in the class because I've got my ribbons beside me 
I've also got my Wink of Stella because um, I thought they would uh, some of those designs would look really beautiful with the Wink of Stella. All right, so let's pop the embellishments to the side and let's start by choosing which um, which card we would like to do use first. Now I've got one that I didn't oh, did I use it in the class? I think I did um, this one. But I had some other ideas with this one. And this one would be a really quick and easy card. So you can use these Memories and More cards to do very quick and easy card making. So these are great to use for um, new, new crafters, new card makers, because they um, can make cards really simple and easy just by sticking these onto the card bases. You can chop them up a little bit. In the class, we're actually... Um, using portions of a lot of the different cards. So we're doing a lot of choppy chop chop, um, which would be a lot of fun and using showing you how to use them in different ways as well. Um, but this one just keeps radiating um, to me, just yeah, telling me to use it, use it. Um, so I was thinking we might do a quick and easy card with this one and then we might do a stepped up one with some of the other products. So let's start off with this one. And let's see. Um, all right, so we've got our card bases. I'm thinking it really needs to go on the um, on this one here. But let's have a look and just see what it looks like on the Calypso Coral as well. All right, so as you can see, the card bases, they fold really easily because they're already scored for you. I do like to just use my bone folder um, to go over those fold lines just to make them sit down a little bit nicer. Now, if you've got any questions as I'm going along, feel free to ask me. Let's see. So it would work on either, depending on what we are adding to it. So that gives, so putting it on the Calypso Coral gives it a little bit of added um, colour because depending on what we add to it, let's have a look and see what we have in here we don't really need to add a lot to this one because there's a lot of detail on here already and in fact even just adding a little bit of bling and i'm thinking a little bit of twine and maybe some wink of stella we could probably just make a really quick card um let's start off with that let's just start off with a really quick and easy simple card and then we'll step up the next one so i think i'm going to I think I'm going to add that to the um, Pretty Peacock. Yeah, I think I'll do tone on tone and we'll do that. And let me show you how quick and easy this is. Now, I'm going to add in a little bit of ribbon or twine. Let me find it. Um, ah, now, I did have it out. I had it out last night. Wait a sec. Let's see where to put it. There it is. I was using this last night. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe some of the, the uh, silver Simply Elegant trim would look nice with this. Now, if you wanted to, if you're a new card maker, you could simply adhere this down like this, add a little bit of bling, and you'd be done. And you'd have a beautiful card with that gorgeous matching envelope, and that's all you would need to do. Um... So feel free to do that, but I'm going to, oh, wait, this is coming right off my roll. Hang on a sec. Let's just wind some of that back on. But I want to use some of this trim because I thought the silver might go really beautifully with this and just highlight that a little bit. Now, you can, um, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can cut a length of this, wrap it around, and then wrap an extra piece around it or make a bow and adhere that to it but I think what I'm going to do is wrap it all the way around and create a bow now where are we going to put the bow I think we'll put it over this side and I'm going to do that straight from the the spool all right now this twine is a little bit um, um, stiff like it's it's not super soft 
So sometimes trying to tie this can be a little bit of a challenge. So yes, so if you are new to crafting, I probably wouldn't, um, unless you're already really super great at tying bows, um, just, you know, maybe have a practice first. Now what I might do, hang on a sec, let me just see. I've got my reverse grip tweezers here somewhere. There we go. I might use my reverse grip tweezers to just hold that knot there while I tie my bow. And you don't want to tie it too tight because you don't want to bow your cardstock. All right, so let's see if we can do this. Slide those out there and tighten that up. There we go. Oh, that wasn't too bad at all, was it? Here I was saying it's difficult to tie it sometimes and it tied straight away. Sometimes it has a mind of its own, this twine, and it goes in all different weird directions, but that actually worked out quite well. So I'm gonna slide that down a little bit because I want to cover up. So there's a green, there's a, a garden green stripe along here. You probably can't see it. It's very fine. You probably can't even see it on camera, but that's what I want to cover up with the um, the silver trim. So I'm going to put it right over there like that. There we go. And then I'm just going to move the bow a little bit. So to move the bow, I'm going to I'm actually going to bow my um, card a little bit to put give my twine a little bit of slack. And then I'm just going to slide it gently along till I get that bow exactly where I want that to sit. Then we'll reposition that. There, that'll be good there like that. And then if we want to hold that in place so that it doesn't move, we can add a glue dot underneath there as well. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip that over so that that doesn't move anywhere. I'm just gonna add a little bit of tear and tape to the back of the twine because I know I've got it in exactly the right spot. I don't want it to move. So I'm just gonna hold it there with that. Let's just do a double check. Yes, great. Okay, so then if you want to, you could pop that, you could adhere that straight onto your card like that. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it up on dimensionals just to give it a little bit of height and add a little bit more interest to it. Uh, where's my take your pick tool? There we go. So these are our um, Stampin' Dimensionals. These are our standard size Stampin' Dimensionals. They come in two sizes. We've got the standard and the, uh, the minis. And these are our 3D mounting foam. And they just give you that little bit of extra oomph to your project. There we go. Let's add one in the middle as well so that we don't have any saggy middles. Just um, remove the backing. So each of these are double sided and the um, I'm just removing the paper backing from this side now to reveal the adhesive. Okay, and then we'll add that to our card base. Line that up. Hopefully get that fairly well in the middle. That looks pretty good. All right, now I'm going to add a little bit of a glue dot just under there. I know it's not going to move too far because we've already adhered it with tape at the back. <laughs> Nothing worse than a saggy middle. Exactly, Judy. That's right. Yeah. Oh, bonjour, Fran. All the way from France. Lovely to have you with us today, Fran. Thank you for joining us. All right, and then we'll get a little bit of gl a glue dot. I don't want the whole glue dot, so I'm just um, pulling some away from that glue dot because this has got a very small, um, it's a very fine twine. So we only want a little globby bit of glue. In fact, I've probably still got too much on there, so I'll pull that off. Just rolling it in a ball on the tip of my take your pick tool, which you probably can't even see. I'm just going to slide it under my bow to get that to stay in place. 
There we go. Oh, let's just tuck it under a little bit more. There we go. Okay, now all we need to do is add some bling and some Wink of Stella. We're going to Wink of Stella those um, little butterflies, but I'll do that at the end because that's going to be um, a wet adhesive. Uh, I'm just going to add my cap back to my um, my pokey pokey tool, as I like to call it, and I'm going to use the putty end. You don't see me use the putty end as often because um, I'm always using the other end, but this has got putty in the tip here and you just screw this in you can get the replacement heads you screw that in until you tighten it until the putty just starts to release and then you release it back off again because if you keep the pressure on it the putty will continue to ooze we just need a little bit of putty at the end there so that we can pick up the embellishments now these embellishments are the um, the loose frosted dots and they don't have any adhesive on the back of them. So we're going to add some adhesive. But first of all, we're going to work out where we want to put um, our embellishments. So we're going to play around with them a little bit first. And we've got three different sizes. Is it three sizes or two sizes? Um, let's see, is that the same? Two different sizes. No, three different sizes. There's a little teeny tiny one as well. Oops, there we go. So we've got three teeny tiny ones. I mean, three different sizes. And in fact, where they have landed is actually not bad. So I think I'm just going to adhere them there just to fill in a little bit of that blank space. All right, so we're going to use a tiny, tiny little bit of our um, multi-purpose liquid glue. Now what I'm going to do is if I can find my silicon craft sheets, which, oh, I think they're out in the tubs. Um, I think they might be out in the, the uh, class tubs because we were using them for class the other day. All right, what I'm going to do instead is I'll find a scrap piece of paper here somewhere. I'll just use, oh, actually, let me get a smaller one. I'll just use a scrap piece of paper. I like to use the um, the silicon craft sheet because the glue doesn't stick to it and you can just take it straight back off. But because we've only got tiny little um, embellishments and I don't want to put too much glue on there because I don't want them to ooze. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a bit of glue just here on my scrap paper. I'll pick up my embellishment, just dab it very gently into that glue and then add it to, and I've still got a little bit of oozing there. So let's just re take a little bit of that away. Oh, still too much. Take a little bit more away. There we go. Now we've got the right amount. There we go. Oh, hey, Vicky. Thank you. Um, yeah, getting there. I'm okay. Just a little bit, little bit of an unsettled tummy still, but it's okay. It'll settle. These things take time. <laughs> Oops. Oh, we didn't get enough glue on that one. Let's do that again. So dab it in the glue. Where's that glue bit there? Pop that down there and release. Oop. Got a little bit of putty sticking to my embellishment there. There we go. Press that back on. And we've got our third little tiny, teeny tiny one. We're going to put that one down here. So when you're using your embellishments, it's um, in the design world, they always say to use odd numbers. So three, five, seven, because apparently it's more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So they say. So there we go. So we've got those there. And then we're going to add a little bit of um, Wink of Stella. Now I've got my old one here. Let's see if we can get a little bit out of this one so give that a good shake up so that we disperse that um, glitter I'll test it a little bit on my scrap paper over here this one's nearly empty so it might actually it sounds like it might be empty I think this one is empty okay I think that one's empty let's get the other one I've got a newer one so give that one a little bit of a Shaky shake. Oops, don't want to unscrew it though. We just want to take the lid off. 
there we go all right now when you're when you're getting your um, wink of Stella to um, started just give a gentle squeeze on the barrel there um, but then test it on your paper first because sometimes if you squeeze it too much it'll just start pouring out of the tip and you don't want that so just test it first on your paper and then we are just going to color in our butterflies now you could actually add color to these butterflies using your um, preferred coloring medium you could use your stamp and write markers or your stamp and blends i'm just going to have them white but i'm going to give them a little bit of a bling with the um the wink of stella and look let's let's do let's do our word enjoy as well let's very carefully add a little bit and i don't have my glasses on so I, i'm hoping that i'm getting this in the right spot oh, just move that little bow for a moment just very gently adding a little bit of sparkle to the word enjoy going around that twine there so you can see how easy it can be and quick it can be to whip up a card in a hurry or for those who might be um, new to card making this is these products are a really great um, one to use there we go now if you wanted to you could add additional bling to um, the flowers so we've got some actually let's how many tiny ones have we got left we've got some more tiny ones in there let's add some little ones to the um, to the centers of the flowers there as well hang on a sec let's if I can turn it over the right way these little tiny ones they're very temperamental there we go um, will we see them might not need might need the next size up those little tiny ones might be too tiny yeah we might add some of those along there as well so let's get four of the medium size ones out there we go add a little bit more glue just a dab just need a tiny dab does anybody else have these memories and more cards already so just going to add these to the center of the flowers I'm going to go back in and remove any ad additional adhesive so you need just the tiniest tiniest dab on these embellishments um, glitter and bling more 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 yes Judy I know we love our glitter and bling don't we we surely do yeah every card needs ribbon and bling although some cards I make don't have ribbon very few but occasionally I will create one that doesn't have ribbon but they all have to have bling definitely in my in my crafting world anyhow all right there we go so I have a little bit of extra adhesive here so I'm just going to scrape that away with my um, piercing tool there we go that was it only a tiny bit and we'll just push them on and now we've got seven rather than just the three there we go now I'm not sure if you'll see the sparkle on the butterflies wait I think this butterfly needs a little bit more sparkle needs a little bit more sparkle they would look gorgeous colored in as well I should have done that but anyway that's okay we'll leave it as it is now let's see can you see don't know if the camera is going to pick up the sparkle probably not let's re readjust the light a bit can you see that sparkle on there it's a bit hard to see on camera you can see it in in um, real life though but there you go so a nice quick and easy card and um, look how pretty that is so really quick and easy using um, those products all right we'll put that one aside to dry and we're going to um, do a little bit of choppy chop chop now with this next card and I'll put my sticky bit of paper out of the way as well we do not want to get um, that glue on anywhere it shouldn't be all right now let's have a look this time let's try and use this color um, this color piece here now I have a little bit of an idea not sure if we're going to use the vellum today um, 
I have a little bit of an idea, but I'm I'm just trying to work out which cards to use for it. I'll put the six stickers to the side for the moment. Um, I'm just having a look to see what else we have. Oh, I haven't used those butterflies yet, actually. Maybe we'll use those. And I love this big, beautiful butterfly. Look at that. Isn't that just stunning? So beautiful. We used this one on one of the class projects as well um, in, a, in a, a different way. But um, yes, I won't, I won't give away the secrets of the class. Um, let's see. Ooh, that one maybe. Not that one. That one maybe. Not that one. I love this one though. That's really pretty. Um, maybe that one or maybe that one. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, okay, so they're a little bit shorter. So because these, these six by four cards are designed to be able to adhere directly to these card bases with having an even border around them. Okay, so they are a little bit smaller than the card bases. So, um, I might change up my original idea. Now, if you wanted to, if you wanted them to go edge to edge, you could trim down these card bases if you wanted to. Um, but I am just thinking, I'm going to use, what's on the other side of that? Oh, that's okay. I'm thinking I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to do... Um, I want to use those butterflies. So I want to cut, let's see, how many full butterflies can we get? One, two, three, four, five. We can have some even flying off the edge if we want to. Um, yeah, we might fussy cut some of those butterflies and do a little collection of butterflies. Um, okay, and then I need something else. So if I do a collection of butterflies, then I need, um, let me see, I need a more solid color, different color. Let's see what we have. Oh, that could be nice actually. Um, maybe that one. But I am looking for a more solid color here in one of these. I love this one too. This is really pretty. Browns, no, not that colour. Mm, that one could work. We've got the... Oh, that colour would be nice. Okay, so we've got that one. Maybe that one. Not that one. Not that one. That one's the same color as that one. So maybe this green one might be the one I'm needing. This one or this one? All right. So first of all, what we might do is fussy cut. I wanna do a little um, collection of the flower. Uh, the What is a collection of butterflies called? Does anybody know? Um, where can you find these cards, Julie? Uh, sorry, Judy. Um, these are the Sweet Thoughts, um, Memories and More cards. I've actually got a class coming up where we're going to make 10 cards. And um, I have an in-person and also a class to go where I send you all of the products to create the 10 cards, if that's something you might be interested in. Um, and you're going to get in that, in that class, you get... 10 of the um, cards and envelopes. So you get 10 of the card bases. Basically, it's half a pack. 10 of the card bases, um, five of each color. 10 of the envelopes, five of each color. You get a half a pack of the Memories and More cards, which I showed, and you get 120 of the Loose Frosted Dots. Five pieces of the Vellum cardstock, 
which is cut to a six size plus a PDF tutorial for all 10 cards. But if you don't want the class and you just want to um, purchase just the products individually yourself and get the full pack of everything, um, then you can find them in my online store and they're called the Sweet Thoughts card, um, sorry, Sweet Thoughts Memories and More Cards. Okay. Um, and the embellishments are the loose frosted dots. Not sure if you can see that on there, the loose frosted dots. And they come in three sizes of three different colours. And actually, how many are in this packet? There are, I can't even read it without my glasses on. There are, hang on a sec, 300 and, is that 60 or 80? I think it's 360 in the packet. Oh, you've got these ones, Judy. Okay, well, there you go. Oh, and also to the pack of... Um, Memories and More Cards comes with um, stickers as well. So if you buy the full pack, you get um, two sheets each of these three sticker sheets. Okay, so this is just showing you half a pack. What I've got here laid out is half a pack. Okay, all right. Um, right, so we might fussy cut some of these little um, butterflies and then we'll take it from there, I think. Let me grab my glasses. Because otherwise, I will have blurry vision and won't be able to see a thing. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. Okay, so we're going to fussy cut some of these butterflies. So I think I want um, uh, this one, this one, and this one. So I'm going to just cut around them. And we'll preserve the other ones because we might be able to use them for other projects. I'm just going to cut them out roughly to begin with, and then I will cut them um, more closely. There we go. It's always always a little bit sad when you cut up um, these cards. But look, I have preserved one of the sentiments, so we can use that as a full sentiment strip if we want to on another project. Um, or we can use these other butterflies as well. So we've got choice there. Okay, so let's now chop these three apart individually and then we'll fussy cut them. And then we'll work out which of these ones we are going to incorporate into this project. I think I'll put all of these ones to the side. And we'll need some um, sentiments as well. So, and I might use that border strip, that copper border strip. Or... Or I could use that one, actually. So we'll leave the, the stickers there as well. We'll leave those there ready to go. All right, let's cut out our little butterflies. So normally, when you are fussy cutting, um, or when I'm fussy cutting, I usually leave a little bit of a white border around the edge. But because we have got a coloured um, background with these butterflies, I'm not going to leave such a... Um, a border around them. The only thing I'm leaving a border around is the antennae because they are so fine. And you will see a little bit of that um, chevron sort of patterned background behind them, but that's okay. I'm not worried about that. It'll just be like an added little, added little bit of color behind them. But for the butterfly wings, I'm actually cutting right to the color of the wings this time. Which is actually back in the day, many, many years ago when I started scrap, uh, sorry, card making and scrapbooking um, over 20, well, what are we up to now? 24 years ago, um, we always cut right to the image. Whereas nowadays, the, uh, the technique is that you cut with a little bit of a border around them. And that's how the dies cut too is with a little bit of a border around the image. So feel free to chat with each other or chat with me as I am fussy cutting. I am having to watch what I'm doing, however, so I will look up for comments in a moment. Um, who's crafting along with me today? Let me know in the comments if you are crafting along. 
So the butterflies have got little um, fluttery sort of wings. So I'm just going around the details on their wings. Oh, you're crafting with me, Fee? Fantastic. Beautiful. What are you creating today, Fee? All right. I love this colour. This is this is the um, pretty peacock colour. It's just such a gorgeous colour. It's like a very bluey green. Amber often says it's blue. I say it's green, but it's a it's kind of a bluey green. It's a really, really pretty colour, almost like a deep, I don't know, would you say it was an aqua? Not really. Aqua is much lighter, isn't it? All right, so cutting out these little butterflies is a little bit um, more fiddly. I know that some of my beautiful customers don't love fussy cutting so much, but if you don't mind it, then um, go ahead and fussy cut these beautiful butterflies. And this is a great job to do sitting in front of the TV while you're listening to your favorite TV show or watching a movie where you don't have to, you know, maybe it's a movie that you've watched a few times that you don't need to necessarily watch what's happening. Um, sitting and doing a bit of fussy cutting is, is a great thing to do when you're sitting in front of the box. And then that way you're feeling a little bit more productive too. There we go. There's our first one. Um, now let me see. I've got some comments to catch up on. Okay, let me scroll back um uh yes oh fee says yes she has these but she hasn't used them yet um uh, judy says she was dipped in glitter at birth and has been sparkling ever since oh, i love that judy <laughs> oh that's funny yeah um oh you're working that day that's okay for the um the class to go, that will actually be if you wanted to choose the class to go option, it'll actually be mailed to you, and you can um you can then do it at your own leisure. And I send you the full PDF tutorial for the ten projects, and then um, you can create them in your own time. So if that's something you might be interested in, then um, that option is available as well. And also, too, for anybody um, who is interested in the class but doesn't live um, in the Sydney area, I'm actually in Western Sydney, um, but if you would like the class to go option, you can do that from anywhere all around the world, uh, not all around the world, sorry, all around the country, because um, I will send it to you with all of the instructions and everything, and then you can do it um, at your own time, uh, in your own time, at your own pace. And uh, you don't even have to create all 10 cards all at once. You might like to do, you know, a few one day, do a few another day and stretch it out a little bit, make the class last a little bit longer and enjoy some creativity time. Um... Oh, you're making a wedding card fee. Oh, lovely. Beautiful. All right, so I'm just going to, whoops, I nearly lost his antenna. If I do, I'm not too fussed because the antenna on here are very, very fine. We can always add antenna with, um, what's the plural of antenna? Antennae um, with our, um, stamp, our black stamp and write marker if we need to. So I'm not too worry I'm trying to preserve them but I'm not too worried if I accidentally chop them off with the little one it might be harder we'll see how we go okay um missing comments here uh oh, not crafting today Judy you're resting in bed okay I hope you're okay got to get up soon and start cooking for food care ah okay aqua is more blue okay so definitely not yeah actually yeah you're right aren't you yeah it is more blue come to think of it yeah pretty peacock is much more green but it's very pretty i would love to see the um i would love to see how they come up with different colors like i guess it's just in the mixing of colors and experimenting really but um, 
yeah, it'll be really interesting to see how Stampin' Up! comes up with all these different colours. There we go. Okay, there's butterfly number two. And now we've got the little teeny tiny one. The little yellow one. I think we're just going to have the three. Um, we might even see what else we've got in the stickers because we've got lots of flowers in the stickers too. So we might even be able to incorporate some of those flowers in this card. We'll see how we go. See, we'll have a little play. It's all about playing with the products today. As I said, I have been um, crafting a lot the last couple of days with other projects. We had our um, team gathering on Saturday, so I made a fun fold card um, with that. Deborah showed us how to make, I don't think Deborah's with us today. She's often on here on Mondays, but I think she's not with us today. She showed us how to make the 2468 fun fold card, and I'm going to share that with you in the next couple of weeks how to make that and um, yeah that turned out really beautiful I, I love that um, fun fold and the products that we're all using different products and the ones that I used um, turned out really well I was very happy with it and then I've got the card that um, was created for the blog hop today which is already up on my blog so it's been a busy a busy couple of days of creating which is always fun and um, I didn't get I didn't actually get um, a full day off yesterday I did get I did we did jump um, we went out for lunch um, with some friends yesterday so that was really lovely and then um, I had to do a bit of well then I came home and had a rest that's right and then I was um, working a bit last night there we go we went to an Italian restaurant, but I had a, um, I just had a salad because my tummy still wasn't feeling 100%. But it was a really yummy salad. I really enjoyed it, actually. It had um, shaved pear in it, parmesan cheese, rocket, um, what else did I have? pine nuts. And it had a really beautiful um, dressing, like a vinaigrette or something. Like it was quite a sweet Quite a sweet dressing, but not overly sickly sweet. It was really yummy. So I'm going to go back there again one day. And, um, yeah, when my tummy's feeling a bit happier and actually have some of their yummy meals. All right, so um, I'm going to shape the wings of my butterflies very gently just with my bone folder. There we go. I'll show you on the bigger one. All I'm doing is turning my butterfly upside down, putting the wing on top of the bone folder, putting my thumb on top of the wing, and very gently just sort of flicking the bone folder to get the wing to curl up. Can you see how, if I hold it like that, can you see how that wing is curling now? Okay. We'll do that with the other one. I'm not going to even attempt to try and do that with the antennae because I'll probably break them. So just doing it very gently so that we don't um, tear the butterflies. There we go. Okay, so there we've got our butterflies. Now this one, of course, is the same color as the background. So we're going to have to sit him up on something to uh, make him stand up. And in fact, we might bring in a little bit of vellum. Let's have a look. We might cut down some of this vellum and have a little bit of vellum in the background there and then I was thinking of having a strip of that on the side and then a border a border strip so maybe the copper border or we might have a little bit of that that's bringing back in the same color not do the copper. We'll add in some of the copper. And then we're going to have a strip going across here. So I'm going to need to cut down the uh, the vellum to make that an even border. Strip of that down there. And then coming across here, I was thinking of... I might even use the white, actually. We might use, oh, 
Hang on, I didn't I didn't do that wing properly. Let me just fix that. I put a dint in it rather than curling it. That's not good. There we go. Let's fix that a little bit better. Um, that could be good across there. Or the black. The black might make the butterflies pop a bit more with their colour. Or it might be a bit too heavy. Oh, no. That actually makes them... Not that amount of black, though. Just a, a strip of the black. All right. Let's start playing. So what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to just use my eye, going old school here, using my eye to measure um, how much. Because we've already cut these pieces for the class, are you like rainbow butterflies? Oh, lovely. Yes, they are beautiful. Um, in fact, today, speaking of butterflies, I got a brand new brooch today, and it's a beautiful orange butterfly. It's gorgeous. Do you want to see it? I've still got it here in my craft room. Um, let me just read. I'm just scrolling back on comments for a sec because I think I've missed a few. Hang on a minute. Um, oh, Judy said they've also made carpet especially designed for me pre-glittered. Oh, really? <laughs> the boys hate it. Toby lay, Toby lay on it and um, created angel wings, exclaimed glitter-free. <laughs> but I fixed that. Um Oh, that's so funny. I've never seen that carpet, Judy. That's amazing. Um, watch your watercolour video on colour mixing. Oh, okay, yes. You can get so many colour variations from mixing a primary with a secondary colour. Oh, cool. Um, yes, and I think then too if you add white or um, – is it white or black? Or is it just white? You can – make um different shades as well all right so let's just have a look here i'm just working out how much i need to trim off just using my eye it might not be exact but let's just go with probably about that much there all right so bring in our trimmer so we're going to do a little bit of choppy chop chop Okay. All right. So we'll chop that. I will put all the me the final measurements for this card on my blog um, later in the week. I've already got a blog post up today, so it won't be up today. But later in the week, I will um, put it up with all of the measurements. Um. There we go. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. That's that's pretty good. Okay, great. Okay, so we've got that layer. Now let's create a, I want to do a yellow strip layer. And I'm just winging this with the measurements at the moment because, um, let me go about there, because we are just having a play today. So I will give you all the proper measurements. That's actually two centimetres. So there you go. Two centimetres sounds like a good a good thing. Um, yeah, I'll give you all the proper measurements later. Oh, but I do need to know the length of this, don't I? Because I need to trim that. Well, let's go old school again and then just um, let's have the lighter, the lighter um, flowers on the edge. Let's go old school again and I'm just going to trim that. I'm going to actually stick that on and I'm going to trim it with my snips. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so let's put that piece to the side. So we've got that piece and that piece. I love that with these um, these Memories and More cards, you can just chop them up in different ways and create different um, designs. Then I was thinking the copper border strip. Let's have a look at that. To go on the outside of that piece. Yep, that'll be pretty. Okay, I'll just stick that back in there for the moment. So we'll have to add in a little bit more copper as well. So we might add in a little bit of those um, copper leaves up here. We might add some of those in as well. Um, yeah, let's do that. And then we need a piece going across here. 
what's on the back of that one yeah we can chop that one so I'm thinking about perhaps maybe about that wide whatever that is let's see what that about there what does that measure on my about five centimeters yeah let's go five centimeters now the thing is though the font is the uh this is directional font so it does mean that i'm going to put it on its side but i think we can live with that because we are going to put the butterflies on there too yep okay then that's going to go across there but we're going to tuck that under and probably put that under there but we only want that the width of the vellum as well well actually that could go all the way out to the edge no that might look weird might need to trim it to the edge of the vellum well, you know what we could do we could put the vellum we could actually put the vellum over to the edge and just have that border top and bottom and then we could have that over to that side edge and then that could go all the way to the edge on that side we could do it that way that's not so bad I'm going to want to move this up a little bit because what I'm going to do is okay um, I want a couple of extra colored strips below here whoops there's that sticky glue sticking to everything I knew that would happen hang on let me get that out of the way all right so we're not going to use that one just move these out of the way there okay so we might bring in a little strip of oh well i wonder what a little strip of that would look like underneath there bringing in a little bit a little bit of a pop of color what would that look like under there that could be nice under there a little strip of that you know what else you can do let me give you another tip is if you don't want to cut up so the design on the inside of the envelopes is the same design as this card here only it's enlarged okay but if you don't want to chop up this card because you want to use the other side or you want to preserve the other side for another project what you can actually do is open up one of these envelopes and you can actually use the paper that's inside because look it goes all the way all the way through you can actually use that paper as DSP so you can use that envelope as DSP and then you can just use a regular en envelope to mail your card so that's an option as well um, I'm just deciding if I'm going to do that though if I'm going to chop this this one here so which way I only want a small strip of it though only want a narrow strip of that let's see if we've got our our little bus butterfly clusters on here we're going to have a sentiment on here too is that going to be too much or is that going to be good or we could put a little green strip along there Oop. along the bottom edge there mm. not so sure about the green or we could put the little blue strip because we don't have any blue in here yet so maybe we could do a little strip of this one I think this one actually it's either this one or the patterned one I'm undecided Let's cut a little, what's on the back of that one? Oh, we've got pretty butterflies on there. So what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll cut it. Oh, actually, I need it from the side, don't I? How wide do I actually need that? Maybe I don't. Let's see. Line that up there. Do you all do this? Do you play around with products like this and, and just, you know, work it out as you go? No, I'll have to go that way. So I might just cut... A piece off might go off this side I'll cut a strip off this side so that I can still use that sentiment 
So let's um, line that up on our trimmer where I'm not going to get too close to that letter D, but we're still going to get a strip. I'll see if I can get a centimetre strip. Can we get a centimetre there without cutting the D? No, it's going to have to be a bit less than that. So we might go 0 0.8. Where's our... Trying to see where the cutting track is. Oh, there's the cutting track there. I might be able to get to a centimetre. Let's see. Where's the cutting track? It's hard to see the cutting track with the lights on. Hang on a minute. Let me just see. That's the cutting track there. I might go 0 0.9 just to give a little bit of extra. Yeah, we'll go 0 0.9. There we go. All right. And now I've preserved the dream big okay so we can use that on something else but now i've got my little strip of color now because i cut that upside upside down it's just given me a little bit of a uh, edge there so i'm just going to run my bone folder along there to smooth that down and then that can go along there which will be underneath that piece there like that oops that's going to be there there like that and then and then we need um so i'll put that one away we're not going to use that one now um i was going to do one well actually that probably doesn't need i was going to do one other extra strip but i don't know if we need it now because we've got all those other colours. Where are the, uh, the other cards? There was another card I had in mind for the strip. I can't remember which one it was now. So that one we've used. There's my other large cards. Oh, oh no, that's, that's it, I think. Is that it? Where have I put them? Okay, I've chopped that one. Didn't use that one, didn't use that one, didn't use that one chopped that one. Oh, that's right it was this one I've chopped that one oh actually we could do a rainbow colored strip under there I wonder what that would be like oh I think it needs to be a more solid color but we you could use that as a strip but I kind of think it needs to be more unless we had that there. You see how my brain is going tick, 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 trying all these different, all these different combinations. If we did that and then that, that could look good. And I mean, that, that strip will be over the top. We could do that and then that. Oh, that might look nice. Okay, let's do that. Let's cut that strip. So I'll cut that along there. We'll do one centimetre this time because then we can lay this one on top. Give us a little bit of extra um, space to add that one. There we go. So now we've got this strip. And then that can go across there. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do uh, is offset my vellum like that. Leave that um, heavier colour top and bottom and just have the vellum there like that now when you're adhering vellum of course sorry about the glare on my um trimmer there when you are adhering your vellum it's important to make sure that wherever you put your adhesive it's going to be covered up by the other elements on your project because otherwise um, that'll be visible and um yeah and you don't want to be seeing that vellum uh, sorry, that adhesive coming through the vellum. Sorry, I'm losing my words now. Okay, so that one, then that one. And we might even put that on top to just give a little bit of a strip of that one. Just a little strip of colour of that one. And then this one 
take that to the edge and then we'll do a border strip and then we'll do our butterflies and then we've got to make our um, sentiment as well so for the sentiment um, we've got these sentiments here oh, I've got the I've got the um, flowers too so we might even add some flowers in there I'm wondering how much of that to show maybe I need more of that border to show like that Or maybe we need less of this color just trying to get the balance right of the um, the colors and the the um, textures or the patterns so maybe we slip that one in under there like that that's better with a little bit less of this color yep okay I like that all right now sentiment We've got space here for our sentiment. So we've got um, happy. We could we could adhere the happy there. And then we've got um, birthday in the two different colours. We've got sweet memories, my heart, love you to pieces, um, anniversary for you, love this, life, happy life. We've got these two little love stickers. Or we've got um, you are and sweet. Um, so I think I might do a happy birthday. Might do a happy birthday one. And what we might do is we might use some stamp and dimensionals behind that um, happy sentiment and pop that up. And then the birthday we can adhere down lower. Okay. So let's do this. All right, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere these two pieces together because I've worked out that I want a little bit less of a border of the, um, the pretty peacock. So I'll just put a bit of glue along the edge there and adhere that behind there. Whoa, let's try that again. Adhere that behind there. I'll flip them over so that I can see what I'm doing. Okay. So just line those up, give them a little wiggle with our multi purpose liquid glue. I love that we can do that. There we go. Okay. All right, so the, this piece is going to go here and then these ones are going to go down here, about there. All right, so I'll attach this one. Now I'm going to use a dry adhesive this time because I don't want... Oh, I did drop that glue onto there. Ah, don't want glue on there, sticky glue. All right, hang on a minute. We've got a glue ed eraser. So I'll just see if I can rub that glue off. I just don't want to tear that cardstock. There we go. I'm going to use a dry adhesive because I just find that the dry adhesive um, works better with vellum rather than a liquid adhesive. Sometimes the liquid adhesive makes the vellum um, buckle a little bit. Eh, sticky, sticky, sticky. All right, now this piece is going to go across here. Let's get that vellum lined up. Make sure I get these lined up at the right height where I want them. So down about here. Yep, okay, so we're going to adhere that across there. Okay, and then these two pieces are going to be adhered underneath there. So we'll get our adhesive and run that along there. And attach them to there. So we want to butt them right up against 
that black. Okay. There we go. Now they are hanging off the edge, but I'm not worried about that at this minute because we can one, either trim them off or two, we're going to put this over the top anyway, so it doesn't matter. That way or that way? I think we want it that way. Okay. Then we're going to adhere our this piece onto there. And then we're going to trim that. So I'm going to apply dry adhesive on this side. We're constructing this um, layer first before we attach the vellum to the cardstock. But I'm just lining this all up and then line up the, um, the height as well. And we're going to trim off the bottom piece. Okay, so just make sure we've got that all lined up, lined up, lined up. Okay, press that down. Okay, so we've created our vellum piece, okay, with all of those different um, layers. And now I'm just going to trim that bottom. Is that sticky? No. I'm just going to trim this piece off here along there, okay. And now this piece can be adhered to the front of the card. And I'm going to put my adhesive behind where you can see um, that cardstock. Okay. So we're going to put some down the edge here. Oh, just get that running. We'll go right to the edge here. Oh, it doesn't want to go. Okay, so doesn't want to go right to the edge because I'm going over that um, extra layer there. So what I can do is I can put glue on this part here because this is cardstock. I'm going to put glue right along the edge there. Okay, and then I'm going to put the dry adhesive on the back of where this card, these card pieces are here. Okay, we'll put lots down so that we make sure it stays in place. I'm getting in a sticky situation. All right. And now we'll adhere this lining up to try and get an even border at the top and the bottom. Lining it up right against the edge there, the folded edge. There we go. And adhere that all down there. All right. Now, this bit up here is not adhered. This bit down here is not adhered. But because we've got all these other pieces adhered, they should stay put. Okay. What we can always do later, if when we're um, putting all of our extra pieces on the card, we can always slip in an extra little bit of adhesive under here, such as a glue dot or something like that. Um, once we know where all of our embellishments are going. Now I'm just cleaning off the, the glue from my hands. Okay. Alrighty. So now before we adhere our butterflies, let's adhere some other pieces. Now we've got our strip here and let's see the length of that. Is that going to be the length of of, okay, so that's not quite the length of the yellow piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just try and center that as best as I can and have that still on there, but have it so that it looks like I meant it with a little bit of a gap at the bottom and at the top. Okay, just make sure that's on there like that. In fact, you don't even really need that, but I wanted to add a little bit of that um that copper. Hang on a sec. I just didn't get that right to the edge. They are quite forgiving, these stickers. So there we go. I don't know that we actually needed that, really, because there's a lot of other colour and texture going on here, isn't there? But that's okay. All right. Now we'll do our sentiment. So we've got, we want to use our happy and our birthday. I'm going to put some um, some dimensionals on the back of this. Now, this is a sticker, so you could stick it straight on, but I want it 
I want it to sit up. So I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of that. Whoops. As you can see, it's a sticker. It's very sticky, sticking to my fingers. <laughs> All right. Oh, actually, before I remove the backing, I'm going to just make sure I've got my positioning worked out first okay so we're going to have the butterflies I think we might go this way I think we might have our butterflies going that way and we'll have our happy and our birthday I think might be Best in the um, Calypso. I think that's going to stand out more. Yes. So we're going to put that on dimensionals as well. And this time we're going to need to use um, mini dimensionals. Or you can cut down your large dimensionals or you might be able to use your edge pieces. But I've got my minis here and just to save time, I'm just going to grab those out and use those. I'm going to just tidy up over here a little bit and move a few things. Um, okay, so let's put some of these on here. Has anybody tried this with the uh, the Memories of More cards, making cards in this way where you chop them all up and make different designs? Have you tried that? All right, so we've got our happy and our birthday. They're going to go somewhere like that. There we go. And now we've got all of these. So we've got some, some leaves here. We've got lots of um, flower stickers. I can probably move my trimmer now. I think we've finished with all the trimming. So we can get rid of that glare from the light for the, from the trimmer. So it's taking shape, which is great. Um, I love these flowers here. They kind of go with the, the colour scheme. Um, oh, I know what I was thinking too, as to whether or not I could fit one of these little love yous somewhere here. Oops. Happy birthday. I don't know if they're going, if it's going to work with the, I could put a little love you there. Or I could maybe sit it there. That's what I was kind of thinking over there somewhere, but I'm not sure. Might be, might not need it. We'll see. Okay, so now with the butterflies, um, we've got a couple of options. We can add in some flowers around the butterflies. Let's have a look see how some of these flowers might be it might be nice to have the flowers the butterflies on the flowers maybe or maybe some of the smaller flowers might be best so I love that you can take these flowers off or these stickers off the sticker sheet and then put them back on as long as you work out which way they go back on again there we go, that way. Uh, let's see. So we've got a pink flower here. Um, oh, here. What about some of these little ones? That's some of these little flowers. No flowers, Glenda. You think just the butterflies? No little flowers in there with the butterflies? You just like it just with the butterflies? We can go just with butterflies, but let's just, let's just, just for uh, fun, just for fun, let's just put a few of these down just to see what they look like. Oh, this is the other colour here. Mm. Yeah, no, I think you're right. No flowers. We might just do butterflies and then bling. 
put them there. Oh, there's a little um, there's a little banner here that oh we've got this one too. This one is a plain one. It doesn't have anything on it. Don't know. Don't know. That one's very big. We've got a little, a little, <laughs> getting my tongue tied here. We've got a really little tiny one here. I wonder what that one would look like. Let's try that little one just down here. See what that one would look like. Mm, no, I don't think we need it. I think we'll leave that off. It was just an extra idea that I had. You love the butterflies, Fee? They're gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah, okay. I'm pretty happy with that sentiment positioned there. So I think I'm going to go ahead and position my sentiment and then we'll position the butterflies around them. Now, one thing you can do while you've still got your backings on here, actually, let me just show you. So you've got your backings on here. You don't need to do this because you've got the dimensionals. But if you're worried about that extra sticky catching on your card, you can take your um, your embossing buddy. Okay, so I've got the backings still on those dimensionals. What you can do is you can take your embossing buddy and just dab that on those other sticky bits and that'll actually remove the sticky. Well, it doesn't remove the sticky. It puts the powder from the embossing buddy onto those sticky parts. So then those extra sticky parts won't stick to your card, which they shouldn't because you've got them, you've got um, the dimensionals there. But if you are worried, that's something that you can do. Okay. All right. And then just make sure you clean that powder back off your hands. I'm just rubbing them on my, on my pants um, so that uh, you don't put that onto the dimensionals because you, if you put the powder on the dimensionals then the dimensionals aren't going to stick. Okay. So let's bring this back over. Let's adhere our happy. So we're going about here, about there, and then we'll do our little birthday as well. And we'll pop the birthday about there. There we go. All right, and now we'll add our little butterflies and then we can um, add our bling. So with the butterflies, you can choose if you want to put them up onto um, some dimensionals or if you just want to stick them down flat. Now I've got, I've already got the wings um, popped up. So I'm just thinking, do they, do I want to put them on dimensionals? I think I might I think I might just stick this big one flat. So I'm just going to run a little bit of glue down the center there. I'm going to position him flying that way. There we go. I just give him a, a nice push on there like that. Actually, I want him over a little bit more. Just jiggle him. See, I love that glue. You can just slide them over a little bit. There we go. And then we'll do... So did we work out what a collection of butterflies is called? What is a collection of butterflies called? There's got to be a, a name. I think, I'm pretty sure I've heard it before, but I'm not sure. I might pop that one up because that's tone on tone there. So I might put a little bit of dimensional behind that one. It's a collection of butterflies. Surely somebody would know. All you clever people out there. Okay, so we'll put this one going up this way. And then this one, I'll mount this one up as well, this little tiny one. Put that one on a little mini dimensional. Has anyone got any, is it just called a collection of butterflies? Like what is a, what is a group of butterflies? Has anybody been to those butterfly farms? Oh, there you go. 
Amber said a group of butterflies is actually called a kaleidoscope. Oh, wow. I never knew that. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Thanks, Amber. There we go. Okay, so I was wondering, wanting to try and incorporate a little bit more of that copper, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to. Thanks for that, Amber. Well, there you go. I do have little, little hearts here. Got a little copper heart here. Happy birthday with a little heart. Mm, I don't know. You can, sometimes, sometimes you can add a little bit too much though, can't you? Like you kind of don't want to take it too far and spoil what you already have. These little copper flowers though. I keep on itching my nose. Something is irritating my nose today while I'm crafting. I'm just placing them very gently there in case I don't go with that. But I'm just wondering, what do you reckon? Yay or nay for the copper flowers? Butterflies flying together is a kaleidoscope. There are also other names for groups of butterflies, including a flutter. Ah, well, there you go. Who knew? What do you think about these flowers? Yes or no? I don't think I've got them in quite the right place if I am going to use them. There's only two of these though. There's only two of those little copper ones. I don't want them right underneath each other. Should I add the flowers, do you reckon? Or should I leave them? Leave them off. Um... You think the card doesn't need the flowers, Sue? Yeah, that's what Glenda was saying before too. All right, we'll just add some bling, hey? Let's just finish it off with some bling. All right, we've got that little bit of copper down there. So um, it's given us that little bit of, you know, sheen and shine. And let's add some of these beautiful blingy bling bling. Now, what color? Because we've got... We've got choices now. We used the, well, maybe the yellow ones because we used the, um, oh, we could do a combo. We'll do a combo of the colors. These ones, uh, the pink ones are quite pink. They don't really match with the, um, well, they don't look terrible. They don't kind of match with the um, Calypso Coral of the Butterfly. But let's just see how we can how we can do a little bit of a sort of a scattering of embellishments and just see. We might want a bigger one. Actually, this one maybe a smaller one. We're going to put one in the middle there. We might use it a smaller one. There we go, but we've got a lot of colour going on on this card, so we can certainly incorporate a lot more colour. Maybe this one needs to be bigger. Sometimes I think I spend the most time just working out where to put all the embellishments. Put another one down here somewhere. And what if we use a little teeny tiny yellow one? Use a little teeny tiny yellow one somewhere. I don't know. What do you think? 
It's always hard with the bling to try and, I find, sometimes, it, not always, sometimes it's more difficult to work out where to put the bling than other times. It just depends on the project. Or perhaps we could put some up there. I don't know, maybe we could put another tiny pink one up here. Or maybe a tiny yellow one, actually. It looks pretty. Thank you, Glenda. Don't want to over bling it, but then I don't want to under bling it either. Hey. Maybe don't need that one and that one. What do you think? Just like that? How does that look on camera? And we've got the little yellow one there. I might just add a larger yellow one there to make that stand out a bit more. And sort of got them splattered around. All right, let's go with that. There we go. And let's see if I can just get that little bit of glue again. Bring back in my scrap paper. Just put a little dab just a tiny dab of glue and get a little bit on there. Did I get some on there? Yes, I did. Add that one in there. Oops, is it going to stick? Oop, not enough glue perhaps. Hang on, let me get a bit more. There we go. That's better. I used up that whole blob of glue then. Didn't put as much down as I thought I did. So how's everybody liking these Memories and More cards? Oh, that came back off again. Oh, I didn't see that jump off. Ah, hang on. How did that come back off there? Let's get a little bit more glue. Uh-oh, now I've dropped it in the glue on my... <laughs> It's all right, we'll get there. There we go. All right, you go on there. You stay there now. Behave. It might be because it's on the vellum as well, because the vellum is that little bit, you know, more slippery consistency. So it might be just taking a bit longer to um, adhere to that, that glue. Put that up there. You love them and you always buy them. Oh, that's great, Glenda. They are good, aren't they? Hey, Glenda, are you going down to on stage in two weeks' time? Less than two weeks' time now. Oh, my goodness. Can you believe it's under two weeks? So for those of you wondering what I'm talking about, if you're unfamiliar, every year Stampin' Up! has um, a fantastic event for demonstrators, and it's called On Stage, and this year... Oh, you're not, Glenda. I won't get to see you. Oh, that's a shame. Never mind. Next year. Let's hope next year's in Sydney. It'll be a bit closer. Um, well, a bit closer for me anyway. You're still going to be a distance away. Maybe it'll be up in Brisbane next year. You never know. Um, yeah, so we have a, a fantastic um, convention called On Stage for demonstrators, and it's really lots of fun. And this year, we've actually got a three-day, well, it's actually two days, and then there's an um, two, it's basically three days, then there's an evening um, event on the first night, a crafting event on the first night, which was optional, and of course, I chose to um, to go to that. Um, and we get to play with some brand new product, and we could choose which of the new bundles we wanted. Um, from a selection. There was a selection of three different um, bundles. So I'll be getting a brand new bundle I'll be able to share with you when I get back. And I'll have some projects made already to share with you when I get back. And then we've got the event all day on the... Um, on the Friday and then we've got a recognition event on the Friday night and then we've got all day again on the Saturday so it's going to be super fun 
Can't wait to share it with my team. We've, I've got, um, I've actually got seven of my team members um, going down for it, down to Melbourne for it. So, so that'll be really fun. So I can't wait. All right, so there we go. There's our card. Now, what do you think? Do we need to add a little bit of bling to our butterflies? Wait, that's the empty one. Let's add some Wink of Stella to our butterflies. Give them a little bit. Let's test it first on our scrap, as I said to you before. And let's color their wings and make them sparkly. So, yeah, so can't wait for on stage. It's going to be so much fun spending two and a half days basically with my crafty friends and my some of my team members as well so it's going to be super super fun I can't wait and I haven't seen my um my Stampin' Up friends for a couple of years because last year we met online for on stage we didn't have an in-person event last year so I'm really looking forward to seeing all of my friends and actually, since our last on stage, I've met more um, Stampin' Up! demonstrators online that I'm looking forward to, to meeting for the first time um, in person in Melbourne. So that'll be really exciting. Can't wait. So I will no doubt be posting photos and Hopefully some videos as well. I might even get to do a Facebook Live from there. We'll see how we go. I won't make promises because um, it's always really a hectic time. And so sometimes there's just no no time for um, Facebook Lives. But we'll see how we go. I'll do my best to do a, a bit of a, a quick little live stream from there and show you what's going on if I can. There we go. Oh, that's turned out really well. Beautiful. I love that layout. Yay. Awesome. There we go. So there's our stepped up card, chopping up some of those beautiful. Oh, thank you so much, Sue. Chopping up some of those beautiful um, memories and more cards. And then this was a more simple one, just with using the memories are more card adding a little bit of ribbon and some of the bling and we took, did a little bit of um, wink of stella on the um the butterflies and the sentiment there as well so there's a couple of ideas for you using the memories and more cards in, in different ways doing something more simple and something more stepped up so there you go and can you see is the light catching the um, the wings of the butterfly with the the shimmer on them Maybe not. It's a bit hard, always hard to, to catch that on camera, but they are blingy bling bling. So there you go. And you know what? I don't even think you really notice so much that the words are going sideways. Actually, I probably should have turned it the other way and had them going the other way, but it doesn't matter. Um, it's just the fact that it's black with white. It just looks distressed to me. So there you go. All right. Yay. Okay. Well, I'm going to tip the camera back up. Um, oh, before I do, just remember that I have got my um, card class coming up using the Sweet Thoughts, Memories and More cards. Um, if you want to get all the information and find out what's included, um, go to my website, mandywithabee.stampinup.net. If you have a look in my calendar there on my website, you'll see that um, you can click on it um, for the event. You'll be able to see the event there and um, get all the information. As I said, I also put the link in the description, oh, sorry, in the, I will put it in the description of the video. And then um, I also put it in the comments as well. So you'll be able to get the link from various different places. And if you do go to my blog, you can also click on the classes tab and it'll take you through um, to the calendar of events as well. So, oh, you can see it on the yellow. You can see the shine on the yellow butterfly, Judy. Oh, thank you. Oh, good. I'm glad you can see that. So there you go. All right. Well, let's tip the camera back up and um, so that I can say goodbye to you. And get on with our evening. All right, here we go. Okay. Just readjust my camera. One of 
my clamps is being stubborn. What is that doing? I don't know what it's doing. Okay. Alrighty. So, does anybody have any questions for me? Is there anything that I talked about that you need clarification on? Um, any other questions that you've thought of while I've been crafting? Anything I can help you with? Feel free to let me know. And uh, if, if you think of something later, then feel free to message me as well. You can always private message me anytime um, and I will get back to you as soon as I can with an answer. Um, what pages are those cards on, please? Good question. Because I didn't actually talk about the catalogs today, did I? But let me grab my catalog for you and I can tell you where to find them. All right. So if you are looking for catalogs, um, feel free to request catalogs from me. I've got the, we've got the annual catalog and we've got the mini catalog. Now, these Memories and More cards are from the mini catalog. And they are, if you have a look, um, on page 76 in the back of the index, you can see them there. And then if you want to see them, there they are there. And then if you want to see them in action, they're on page 44. So if we go over to page 44. There they are there. Okay. So you can see, you can see the, um, there's the, the cards, there's the, uh, there's the cards and envelopes or the card bases and the envelopes. And there's, um, some examples of how they've been used both for cards and for, um, pocket memory keeping. So, and we, Stampin' Up! does sell the six by eight albums as well. If you are, um, into doing the pocket memory style, um, memory keeping sorry pocket style what did I just say pocket style memory keeping is what I meant <laughs> um, we do have the albums as well so there you go um, no it's one kit um, so there's the cards the memories are more card pack and then the um, cards and envelopes are the so this is the up here is the the memories are more card pack so they come with the, the stickers, the 3x4 cards and the 6x4 cards. And then you've got the cards and envelopes, which is what I was using for the card bases and the coordinating envelopes. Let me show you. Um, so we've got, so this is one of the envelopes. Okay, this is one of the styles and that one would go with this one. Okay, because it's, it's the pretty peacock. And then for... The other card base. So for this one, which has still got the wet butterflies, we've got um, this coordinating envelope. And the envelopes come with the card bases. Okay, so you can buy the set of the cards, card bases and envelopes, and then the cards themselves are separate. The memories are more cards are separate. Okay, and then there's the albums as well if you want to do um, memory keeping. So there you go. All right. So hopefully that makes sense. Does that make sense? I hope I explained that okay. <laughs> um, yeah, but anyway, they're in the catalogue. You'll also find them in the online store. Um, if you go to um, yeah, if you go to my online store, just look for memories and more cards. In fact, let me have a look and see in the online store exactly where what category you need to go to. Um, oh, I've shut it down. Okay, let me open it back up and I'll have a look for you. Tell you where you can find them in the online store. So if you go to um, stampinup.com.au or you can use my direct shop link. Um, and then shop products. Um, you go to shop products and you'll go to, so click on the menu. Click on shop products and then click on scrapbooking and it's under the pocket scrapbooking um, tab there where you can find them. 
and there's this a set there as well from the annual catalog as well that's still available and then you've got the um the variety pack of the inserts for the album as well if you want those so yeah that's what you can find or you can just type them in in the search bar as well so that makes it really easy but i will pop up all of my links in the description of the video so then you can find easy access to my class registration and information um, and to my online store as well and then if there's anything else that you need are they sun yes they are sunflower earrings well actually i no they're not sunflowers they are wild i think they are wild daisies but they kind of look like sunflowers to me but they're smaller they're like wild daisies or something um i forget who it was one of the one of my regular viewers told me what sorts of flowers they were last time i wore them might have been rose actually if rose is still on here um yeah so um yeah but they're really pretty and i've got my wattle i've got my wattle brooch on today too because i kind of thought the colors went with what we were creating today so that's why i wore these all right well have a lovely evening everyone and a great week and i look forward to seeing you all again next monday afternoon at 4 p.m australian eastern daylight time and i hope you have a happy crafting week so um paper daisies oh you think they look like paper daisies yes um Ah, is it? Do you know that if you wear sunflowers, it's a new signal to show that you have a hidden disability? I didn't know that. Well, there you go. These aren't sunflowers, though. They're, I've, I've got to remember to look at what they're called because it is in the um, in the box that they came in. So, but I forgot to I forgot to look again when I put them on today. Anyway, all good. All right. Have a great week, everyone. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you all again next week. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye.